What is the worst slash rudest way you've been rejected? I can't think of many as an adult if I'm honest, but I always remember an incident when I was around 11. I was picked to go on this summer camp type trip for a week with a bunch of kids in the year above me, 12 over 13 year olds, because of good behavior. I was the only 11 year old. There was a boy I'd had a crush on for a while, and on the first day he asked me to be his girlfriend. Obviously we were all children, so that doesn't even mean anything. But he kept it going for the whole week, sending me notes, hugging me in the hall, before we were sent to separate dorms etc. On our last night I got a note asking me to meet him in the hall, when I went out the entire group was there, 35 to 40 kids, all crying with laughter. He announced to everyone it had been an entire joke, that the whole group had all been in on, and he'd never be interested in an ugly teacher's pet. As an adult, I'm obviously not remotely upset about the romantic rejection, because I was 11 ha, but the social rejection and the public humiliation aspect of it was tough. Anyway I'm 24 now, and he slid into my DMs after high school, and I told him to go duck himself, which felt good. This happened in 6th grade. I was bullied badly throughout elementary school. For reasons I still don't understand, I was made a social outcast by the mean girls. I was walking home from school with one of the cool boys in class, who was always nice to me one on one, but eagerly joined in the bullying otherwise. He told me that one of the girls in class was having a party after school and that I should come. I was so excited to be invited to a party with the cool kids. I went home, told my mom, and rode my bike to the girl's house. I rang the doorbell, and the whole group answered. One of them said oh my god she actually came, and they all laughed. Then the girl who's housed it was said you can go now, and shut the door in my face. I was too ashamed to go back home, and tell my mom what happened, so I rode my bike around aimlessly crying for a couple hours before going home. I'm 35 years old now, and that memory still stings. I'm so grateful that I had a loving home life, and social media wasn't around yet. I don't know if I would have made it through otherwise. Don't be bullies kids. I was having a party for my 13th birthday. I sent my crush an invite. A week after giving them out I found a bit of torn paper on the school field. I recognized the color slash pattern, then looked up and there was the rest of it, torn into tiny pieces. The kind of tearing that takes time and effort. To get it into as many pieces 10 tenths would not be a teenage girl again. Went out for lunch with a dude I had a crush on. Told him I liked him. He said, are you aware of the concept of the free zone? My friends and I have laughed about this for years. When I was 11 the boy I was crushing on said he didn't want to go out with me because I was ugly in front of all my friends. We ended up getting together in our late teens and we've now been together for 13 years. He doesn't remember this incident, but he is devastated that he ever said this to me, even as a child. Got sat down for coffee with my BF of 2 years, and he said I'm bored of you now. Let's break up. Then picked up his coffee and left. Tore at me for a while, but I got over it. More pissed off than anything he wasted my time. After living with my boyfriend, now ex, for a couple of years, I was going through a bit of a depression. Things started to look up, and I was starting to put my life back together. We'd only had intercourse a few times in as many months, and he mentioned that when I was ready, he'd like me to initiate. He didn't want to pressure me. Great. He's been super understanding so far, and this just shows how how supportive he is. The next day I try to initiate, because I have a cool, understanding, supportive boyfriend that I love. He stops me, and says don't you want to lose some weight first? I don't want you to be upset, if I can't get hard, because of your belly flab. Noped out of that relationship real fast. This story is from last year, and probably still counts as my most painful, and also confusing, rejection. I had known a man for several years online, and we had gotten very close. We met over World of Warcraft and we played together literally every day for 2 plus years, talking on Discord and eventually we started flirting a bit. He starts begging me to come visit him, as he lives across the country unfortunately, and I enthusiastically say yes, because at this point I'm stupidly in love. He spends months going on and on about his feelings for me, how he's always liked me, and how he's in love, how I'm so beautiful, and he can't wait to kiss me etc etc. 
At this point he's video chatted with me multiple times, and seen many full body pictures of me, so he definitely knows what I look like, which brings me to the weird part. We finally meet, and, he treats me like a sister, and seems really uncomfortable with the idea of kissing all of a sudden. The trip was very fun, but I felt really rejected. I tried hugging him, when we got back to his place, and he was visibly uncomfortable, telling me that he wasn't ready to make a physical move despite him being the one begging me to come be with him. I felt really rejected and repulsive, he even sat on a different couch from me across the room, despite telling me how much he wanted to cuddle for 2 years. Late that night I asked him what was up, and he said that he found our age difference off-putting, which really upset me, because he knew my age since the day we met, and he's not even that much older than me, it really felt like a lame excuse. To this day I have no idea what really happened. My only two guesses are that I'll look fatter viral than he was expecting, or that he had an viral girlfriend or something. I'm still salty about the waste of time and money lol. I got ghosted by a guy I had been seeing for a year. I saw him at a bar a few months later, and he tried to come over and greet me like nothing happened, but I stuck my hand in his face and walked away. Maybe not the most grown up thing to do, but he ghosted me so duck him. Lost my v-card to my boyfriend at the time. Two days later he dumped me via text, the whole it's not you, it's me thing. To a freshly 18 year old girl though, that obviously means nothing. Happy ending. After that, I vowed to never have intercourse with someone I couldn't see myself marrying ever again. 100% just a personal choice for myself, have no issue at all with casual intercourse, but it wasn't something I wanted. Sure enough, a year and a half later at 19 years old, I met a guy that seemed to check all of my boxes. I moved forward, deciding that even if we didn't end up married, it was worth it, because he showed me how I wanted to be loved by someone. We've been together for 7 years, married for almost 5. This is the reverse story. When I was 15 a guy at school asked me out on a date. I assumed he was making fun of me, so I didn't say anything, just walked away. I was pretty proud of my response at the time considering I usually said something awkward made things worse when people made fun of me. Didn't occur to me until years later that he may have been serious. Usually an askman thread pops up at the same time ask women does, but for now, I'll just share here if it's okay. There was a really cute redhead cop or sheriff who used to come to the same gym as me and just walk on the treadmill for 3 to 5 miles every single day. I had talked to her a few times and she seems friendly enough, smart, so I kept talking to her. No real intentions of asking her out, but I did enjoy our banter. On this faithful Monday evening, as I'm wrapping up my workout, and she's walking her 500 miles, just to walk 500 miles, so I stop in for a quick chat. It starts off innocently enough, but pretty quickly she starts spewing some nonsense about leagues and the audacity of certain guys to approach her and if I'm referring to me, the best she can do, she's just gonna give up dating altogether. I walked away without saying a word, but she followed me out with some final advice of, I guess you shouldn't talk to me on a Monday. I follow that sage advice, which works so well, I've extended it to the rest of the week. When I was about 17, I went to the park on a double date with a good friend of mine, and two guys we just met. We'd been there for about 10 minutes when you'd hash one suddenly shouts, I'll bet you $10 I can run through those trees, and back in 60 seconds and he just takes off into the forest. After a few minutes, dude hash 2 decides his friend must have gotten lost, runs to his car, and drives away. We never saw or heard from either dude again. It was a very strange experience, because these guys presued us, and we are still not sure what made them run for the hills, after spending just 10 minutes alone with us. When I was like 11 I used to go to these social dance things with my friends. It wasn't really my thing, I've always been introverted, but they insisted I go. I remember my friends pushing me to ask this guy to dance, I didn't want to, and then he asked me, I said okay. After that my friends said it was on a dare and the dude and his friends came over throughout the night, to tell me I'm ugly. So yeah, not really a rejection, but probably one of the worst things that's happened to me regarding the opposite gender. I'm a 6 feet 4 female it's hard for people to look past my height. 
I was single for a long, well so I was on Tinder and other sites and I always have to give people a warning, before I meet them in person, tall guys are fine, but apparently tall girls scare people, I've talked to people for weeks, and then met up with them, and I can see the shock point in their faces but everything goes really well and afterwards they just end up ghosting me, or block me it's really disheartening. Tall guys usually like short girls so a lot of the people I was meeting up with were shorter guys, not always that much shorter than me, but apparently they still had issues. I even had someone tell me, if I wasn't so tall I would have been the perfect girlfriend, but they can't deal with the height. I could only take so many of these rejections before it really started to get to my head, so I was done with all that. It's crazy that it's something that I have absolutely no control over. Posted about this before but here it goes. This happened about a month ago. Had been casually seeing this man for a couple months, not exclusive by any means. Both in our 30s. Went to his house one night. We watched a movie, drank wine, talked, nothing unusual. Then he goes to the bathroom for like 10 minutes, and when he comes back out he says something along the lines of, So this is awkward, but I've been pursuing this other girl for a long time and she just asked me to come over, do you mind? At this point it's already midnight, and I've been drinking. So not necessarily appropriate for me to be driving anywhere. I was floored. I told him how rude he was being, etc. Even though we weren't exclusive it was still really cruel. He explained that he had history with this particular girl, and she was potential relationship material. He didn't even want to go for the intercourse, it was just to talk to her, which honestly made it so much worse. He had told me something about not being ready to be beholden to anyone, but then there he was discarding me like a piece of garbage, as soon as something better had come along. Anyways I left his house and he went to see her. Ducking took my confidence and self-esteem with him. Got any similar stories? Leave it in the comments below.